pointer. Throwing it down. Sir Dominic Pointer climbing the imaginary ladder. Dropping the hammer. Throwing it down. Well, it wouldn't be a stretch to say that as Sir Dominic Porter goes, so goes the St. John's Red Storm. The ferocity of the junior ringman makes him a stat sheet stuffer as his inspired play and high basketball IQ leads to success on both ends of the floor. Wherever the action is, that's where you'll find Sir Dom as his athletic ability and those for the rock have earned him five career double-doubles and a seemingly endless supply of highlights. Pointer is easily one of the team's most interesting personalities as his free-spirited attitude oftentimes leaves people saying, well, and that's just Dom being Dom, just as much as a well-timed steal and a thunderous throwdown. The Dom Pointer is Sir Dom Pointer. Like, you can't, you can't describe me. Like, I'm not just a normal guy, you would say, the, the typical person. I'm different. I'm, I'm me. I'm going to do my style. I'm going to do my thing. I'm going to be me no matter who's around. I'm going to be respectful, of course, but just Dom Pointer is Dom. It's, you, you don't know what to expect from me. He's unique, <laughs> for sure. <laughs> he's a different type of guy, but I love him. And you know, he's a great person, you know, great attitude, great mindset. He's a real calm, chill, like laid back, don't care what people think about him type of guy. So I love that about him. Oh, he's like my brother. We chill almost every day, like whenever we leave here. Like I love him. He's so calm, like he helped me calm down. Like that. He, he understands me. We understand each other a lot. So I love him a lot. I'm cool with all the guys. All the guys cool with me and they listen. Uh, I listen to them. They, they can always come talk to me and they know that. So like, I'm one of the few people who everybody on the team can come talk to. So that's, that's what they look up to me as. Sir Dom is a Batman. That's why we got that drafted t-shirt. Um, he does literally everything as well. He'll hit a three. He'll block a shot like Crystal Becker. He'll um, play defense like Phil. He'll, I don't know. He does a little bit of everything. So. Having him on court when he's, you know, he's on, he's playing his game, you know, we're a completely different team. He does a little bit of everything. You know, I mean, sometimes he does too much of a little bit of everything. But for the most part, I mean, Dom does things, and it's usually when he's on top of his game, um, we win. I'll take that responsibility and that role to heart, you know. Um, I, I respect that role. Um, they're, they're not lying, you know. In the games we won, I've been on. The games we lost, i kind of been off or not as productive as I should have been. So Dominic is one of those special players who gets his hand on a lot of uh, passes and the, he makes a lot of deflections. He's fun to coach because you don't know what he's going to do next. So he's one of those unusual players in and Dom just being Dom uh, has to be a special type player for you and he's extraordinary at anticipating the pass, picking them off, getting steals and when we need a comeback usually he's in the middle of it. Um, you know, I was a boxer back in the day, and it makes me instinctive, you know, like, most players that hesitate, I kind of won't hesitate on defense. You know, like, I see a pass about to be made, I jump the pass or anything like that, so I can see it developing a lot faster. No timeouts left. Cena gets it in. Edwin, looking at the clock, winding down at midcourt, knocked away by Pointer, and St. John's will hang on! What a finish for the Red Storm as they get their first victory of the year in the Big East Conference. We call it Dom being Dom, where Dom, Dom makes a mis Dom. mistake but makes up for it. And Dom. Um, <laughs> that was definitely Dom out there. Rasheed cut him off, and I seen him, you know, when you put the ball behind the back, it's kind of slow, so I seen him put it behind his back. When I seen that, I just went for the ball, and it, and it worked out. Did you feel like you were taking a chance on that, where you know, of, you of course. a little bit of the foul? And... Yeah, of course I was taking a chance, but you know, um, like I said, Lab gave me the freedom to do that every once in a while. He could have picked the ball up and threw it to my guy, so I took the chance and um, it paid off. You're taking a lot of chances at the end of this game, huh? Yeah, it'd be like that sometimes. <laughs> <laughs> he does a lot of talking on the court. You know, you might catch Dom talking to the fans. You might ca catch him talking to the referee. You might catch him talking to the opponent. You might talk with, catch him, catch him tell, talking to the other team coach. But it's, it's never in a bad way. You know what I mean? It's always just kind of just engaging in everything that's going on. And we're proud of Dom for the growth that he's had. He's had a lot of growth. The coaches had the leaders as um, my freshman year, Mo and D'Angelo. You know, over the years, they just seen who I, who I was and who I become. They just put me into the role, you know. Um, it, it gradually changed just for the simple fact of 
the way that the way it rolled that way, and I just became the leader on the team, and one of the leaders on the team, and it just kept going.